He recovered from COVID, but weeks after a St. Louis boy got even sicker. Tonight, a new COVID-related illness is sidelining children, even sending some to the ICU. It's a story only News 4's Emma Hogue is spotlighting tonight. She's live for us from Children's Hospital in the Central West End. Right now, doctors nationwide are still working to learn exactly what Miss C is and how best to treat it. The concerning part is that it develops about two to six weeks after kids get COVID-19. Tonight, the hope with this story is that it alerts other families to the danger. Every day, every minute, we could be changing course because we just didn't know how to treat this. It was the fear of the unknown that kept calling McNicholas up at night. Her 10 year old son Avery developed a mild case of COVID in early November. He recovered and almost a month later, new symptoms set in. He was just in more and more pain, tremendous amount of abdominal pain, especially. Then it got worse, 104 through 105 temperature. Avery was admitted to St. Louis Children's Hospital and diagnosed with multi-system inflammatory syndrome in children. It's also known as Miss C. It's a rare condition and can develop two to six weeks after COVID-19. Probably the most concerning part is that we still are just learning about it. Dr. William Orr, a pediatric cardiologist, says doctors still don't know who's prone to the illness and just how sick kids can get. Right now, he's helping to lead major research through a clinical trial at Wash U. We've had other kids that have required additional medicines to help their heart squeeze, to help with their blood pressure. The most common symptoms of Miss C are a high fever and stomach pain. Most are treated and recover with steroids and antibody therapy. Avery was sent home after five days in the hospital and tonight is back to playing sports again. It's not fun, so don't mess around with it. How many times have we heard the messaging that kids just don't get that sick? Well, my kiddo got super sick um, and, and he's not the only one. So Avery's mom is a physician and actually knew what Missy was before he was diagnosed. But again, a lot of parents don't. So a good reminder to look for those warning signs, Sam. And Emma, have there been any deaths reported with this among children? So far, there have been about 30 deaths nationwide in the last year, but right now the long term effects of what this illness can do are still undetermined. Again, researchers are still looking into that. We hope to have some of those results in the next year. Reporting live in the Central West End, Emma Hogue News 4.